Kia ora, my name is Michael Meredith and I'm a chef owner operator of Mr. Morris in Auckland. Today we're going to check out a few of my favorite restaurants, maybe a bar or two in there. So welcome to Auckland and welcome to my tour. Yeah, so we opened Cassia in 2014 and we always had this desire to open something modern, something to do with our heritage. Kind of mind-blowing for people to sort of come here and have that elevated way of presenting food. Totally. So we, yeah, we just didn't want to dumb it down. And then also it was really important for us to nail the sauces, keep the produce solely from New Zealand and yeah. the spices and things would come from India. Just to showcase the best of both worlds. Th this dish is very close to my heart because we've had it from day one. So lamb chops from the Hawks Bay. This is one of my favorite things coming here because you know this kind of represents New Zealand right in a sense like totally in the summertime lamb chops. This one here is bone marrow and black truffle lunch. Wow that's decadence bro. So when you get people to break this up and like... Yeah just Just good, huh? So culture is about Korean inspired Kiwi cuisines and uh, showcasing what uh, Korean culture is about. In New Zealand, it's like a um, multiple cultures that all combine together and they create a different level of culinary scenes. Chef, here's your milk buns. And then they stop with the spicy pork and the kimchi inside. So you just need to cut, cut it in half and there'll be a hole in the middle. You just need to pour the bevlong sauce on inside. When I was young, I used to eat like a um, instant cream soup. Yeah. And then um, always go with a, like a sort of like a breakfast rolls. That's where oh, the idea is okay. from. I think it's a perfect merge of culture there. And I really, really, really enjoy that. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm good. You hungry? We opened like um, seven years ago. And we just opened like our dream restaurant. I think New Zealand cuisine now is really um, diverse and you can go out and eat well. Wow. We buy mashed potatoes, some jus, mushroom and salad. Wow. And yeah, it's real, usually it's better to share to two people, yeah. but four or six. Today I'm going to eat this all by myself, right? Okay. I'm going to help you, I think. <laughs> this is like a, man, a man's dinner, right? You got your veggies, you got your salad, you got your mushrooms. Uh, it's women too. Women too, uh, yeah. No? yeah. <laughs> well cooked food, well thought out. That's why I love Apro. It hits the spot every time. We've been here in Auckland since 1987. Wow. That's impressive, you know, that, I mean, not many restaurants in Auckland has that history. At the heart of what we do, it's about the ethical procurement of our proteins, all made in house. So we have the 18 month cured pancetta, the boar and pistachio salami, and this is your goat, walnut, and prune terrine. Wow. It's almost like just that buttery savouriness just comes through, like you just want to eat that all day, right? We have the dark chocolate and brandy mousse. You know, it was Dariush's mum's recipe. Wow. Is this the one with deer blood in it? <laughs> no, no animals are harmed in the oh, making of this okay. mousse. I love coming here because you feel like you're coming into somebody's home. There's no place like that in Auckland at the moment. Kertek is a New York style classic cocktail bar. I mean, that's the other thing too I love about this is like there's no menu, right? You try and choose the right drink for the right person by talking through what, what people like. So essentially, I, I break it down to three basic areas. If you want something stronger, sip on something more citrusy and refreshing, or something more creamy and desserty. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what style yeah. do you feel like? Something refreshing, savory, on right. those notes. But you know, I'm leaving it up to you, mate. So this is a drink based on a Viva Via lime sugar tequila. In this case, using mezcal. My first sip is, you know, it's pretty important. Wow. Man, that's that's spot on, you know. What I mean is, it's almost like everything I said: citrusiness, savoriness. As I, I always bang on, you know. Like, yeah, absolutely, yeah.